Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about underrated makeup. I feel like on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of the above, there are these specific products that just get talked about over and over and over. We see them in all the favorites videos. They're always being recommended. But that's not all that's out there on the market. There are some amazing products that I feel like I rarely hear discussed. So I'm gonna discuss them today. I also recently saw Emily Noel do an underrated products video, so I'll leave that link down below. If you do happen to be new here, hello, my name is Kelly. Here on this channel, I love talking about amazing, cruelty-free beauty. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start with something that I'm wearing today. This is a concealer. Now this is from Bare Minerals. You guys know that I love Bare Minerals and I talk about them often and I just don't understand why they're not more hyped up here on YouTube. It's funny too because one of my best friends worked at Ulta for quite a few years and I remember asking her like, I feel like no one talks about Bare Minerals in the beauty community on social media, but are they really popular at Ulta? And she was like, yes, we sell so much Bare Minerals. And even when you look on Ulta and Sephora's website and you search products based on best sellers like this is one of the top brands So I don't know why they're not talked about but anyways today. I'm wearing the concealer This is the bear pro concealer and I wear it in the shade light neutral It's a stick concealer. So it's a cream and it's extremely concentrated But it's also so natural and I feel like these days with the skin tints with the minimal makeup all of those very summery trends this type of product pairs so well with that. So it's super creamy. I just like to tap it on like my darkest spots and then I tap it in with my finger. I've never used a product that blends out this easily. You just go like tap, tap and it melts into the skin and it's undetectable. Like a lot of concealers, they cover, but you can tell like there's, there's a product there. This is undetectable because it's a cream, because it just sits so well on the skin. Also, just a little bit of it goes such a long way. So if you want a natural look, but you still wanna cover without it looking heavy, I think you'll really like this. You know, the downside, I don't know if it's a downside, but something to consider is just the fact that it is a stick concealer, and I know this is not the preference for everyone, and I was kind of curious how I would like it because I normally prefer a liquid concealer with a wand, with a doe foot, but this, it's so beautiful and easy for everyday wear, especially if you're just doing like a full face of creams, you tap some on, beautiful. Another category that's so trendy right now, so I don't know why this product doesn't get more hype, serums, or serum foundations. So skin tints, serum foundations, tinted moisturizers, I'm grouping them all together here. But I feel like every brand is coming out with them and I'm just hearing from so many people that this is what they're into at the moment. It's definitely the trendy foundation type right now. Like five years ago, it was the extreme coverage foundations. Now it's the extremely light coverage foundations. And this drugstore option from Flower Beauty is just as good as all my high-end serums and skin tints, maybe better. I wonder if this just came out like a touch too early because this came out last summer and I wonder if it came out right now, I feel like more people would talk about it because now is where the big boom is, but this is so good. It's very thin and serum-y. Now I did get to be, like I did do some pictures for Flower Beauty back in the campaign when this launched last year but obviously this is not sponsored. I'm under no obligation to talk about this product. I just genuinely love it that much. I wear mine in the shade Warm Beige L4. Again, because it is more of a thin, serum-y skin tint, you can get away with quite a few shades because it just kind of like blends in regardless because the coverage is not too full. If you are into light coverage products like I am, I think this is a really fantastic drugstore option. I have a face palette. Surprising, I know, because I'm normally not really team face palette. I prefer individual blushes and bronzers, but this is a blush palette, and this is from The Balm, and it's amazing. This is one of those products that I'm not joking. Every time I wear it, someone says, what blush are you wearing? And it's usually this blush right here. So this palette is called the Will Powder Palette. This launched from The Balm last year. And you have three blushes and a highlight. No, I did that backwards. Three blushes and a highlight. The highlight for my skin tone, I don't always use it as a highlight, but it can be like a blush topper. I would say if you're just like a little bit darker than I am, this would be a pretty highlight. But it's the blushes. That's what I'm here for. And this one specifically, the shade Dedication, it feels kind of gross and like 
chunky in the pan almost but when you put it on it's this gorgeous like highlighted blush look these are glowy blushes too which is usually not my preference so the fact that I'm this excited over a glowy blush says a lot because I typically prefer my blushes to be matte or satin. I mean, even look at that like leftover part on my hand. It's so pretty. Here they are all swatched out on my arm. You have one matte, two shimmers, plus the highlighter. It's just such a healthy formula if you want that look. Very blushed, very like rosy. You'll probably really love this palette. A bronzer. This is from Bare Minerals. Again, I actually had like a bunch of Bare Minerals products on my original list and then I was like girl that's too many I know you love them but that's too many just pick out the tip top ones so I went with this bronzer now this was really hyped up probably a decade ago but I feel like nobody talks about it anymore and it's just as good and it deserves some hype so this is their original warmth bronzer so it's a loose bronzer so when you first get it there's a bit of a learning curve because when I first got this, I like dumped out some in the cap and then I applied it and I was like, whoa, that is way too much. Okay, this is super pigmented. I did a full face of Bare Minerals. I'll leave it linked down below if you wanna see me applying this. But if you just take a tiny bit of this on your brush and then buff that into the skin, the name Warmth is so accurate because it just looks like your sun kiss. And I feel like the theme for all of these products is great for summer, Great for the current makeup trends of like minimal makeup, lightweight makeup, natural, sun-kissed makeup. That's what this bronzer does as well. And the tone of it is so warm without being orange, without being red. Like it's the exact color that you get from the sun. I've got two highlights and these are both the more natural highlight, which I'm into. I don't want my highlight to be seen from space anymore. I did five years ago, but now I'm not into that look. I want to look possibly a little bit sweaty like that's my ideal look but maybe not all over sweaty just like that perfect glow like supermodel off duty you know so these are the two we've got drugstore and high end let's start with the high end this is from nabla this is the skin glazing line so they have highlights blushes and bronzers i would categorize all of them as underrated but my standout i love the highlights i have the shade privilege and it's this really beautiful like gold with a really subtle rose undertone to it. And personally, I love when my highlights have a slight pink or rose undertone to them. That's what I feel like looks the most natural because it's not just like here's a white stripe on my cheek or here's a gold stripe on my cheek. No, when it has some of that like reddish undertone, it kind of blends in with the blush seamlessly. It's like, oh, maybe she is just a little sweaty or glowy. The texture of this also is very lightweight. Like I feel like some highlights, they're a little heavy. They're kind of like creamy on the skin. And those are the ones that can emphasize a bit more texture. They're a bit more noticeable up close. You know, nothing wrong with that, but this, a very different effect. Like it's very, very lightweight. And because it's kind of baked it gives a blurred effect to the cheek it's beautiful i love it so much it's one of my most used highlights i mean you can see there's a big dent in the middle of it but a recent one that's similar but definitely not dupes like different directions here but a similar effect nyx high glass okay you guys it's so beautiful for a nice creamed powder type of look this i like to apply with my finger so i tap it take a little bit of it Tap it on my cheek and then the key is to take your damp sponge and tap it over top so it blends in seamlessly. Sweaty glow, perfect. I feel like I don't hear anyone talking about this. I actually bought this because I heard one other YouTuber talking about it. I tried this in my YouTubers Made Me Buy It video and it was Samantha Jane and she's the only other person I feel like I've heard talk about the highlight. I know they have a face powder, which I hear people talk about, but the highlight is one to look out for. It's similar to a ColourPop Super Shock in terms of the texture but the glow on the skin it's just radiant it's a little bit balmy without being sticky very natural type of highlight those are a few of my most underrated products let me know down below if you have tried any of these thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye